2025, AI is changing the nature and instruments of warfare. With low costs, today's combatant can take down an energy grid from anywhere in the world by simply pressing some keys on their laptop. States, political groups, criminal gangs and even rogue employees are very skillful in covering their digital tracks. The effects of an attack spread through whole populations, but if the source or motivations of the attack are unclear, it is difficult to know how to respond. The source of the attack always has the option of denying it was their actions which caused such disruption. Information warfare takes many more forms than simply disabling a power plant. AI systems study the behavior of social network users to design and implement phishing bait in order to hijack the public's perception of events and news. Trust is manipulated. In 2025, the speed of warfare is also increasing exponentially. Decisions are often left to smart information systems that combine AI and big data in multiple ways. Sometimes, people can't decide quickly enough. Defenders are now relying on AI-powered, real-time, automated decision-making to defend their assets, both in cyberspace and on the ground. With traditional warfare, long-established treaties have committed member countries to consider an armed attack against one to be an attack against all. Now the definition of warfare is changing, since it is no longer bombs being dropped, but algorithms being deployed. Some countries retain the traditional definition of warfare in order to avoid becoming involved in conflict and obligations to help other member states. In this future, information warfare not only sets its target on critical infrastructure, but also the public perception of many significant events resulting in a culture of fear and mistrust. More research and discussion is needed on how AI is being used to spread misinformation and what the EU, businesses and citizens should do about the increasing attacks beyond simple defensive measures.